Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to devolt your i9-13900K processor in order to reduce heat spikes and thus have a much better performance in Microsoft Light Simulator and X-Plane 12. Over the past two years, I have done several tutorial videos on how to improve performance for both Microsoft Light Sim and X-Plane 12. I will include the links to my most recent performance videos in the description section of the video. While I have done extensive performance testing to come up with those performance uh, videos and tweaks to improve performance, which they have to a large extent, there were still some pauses and some freezes that occur randomly and they were completely unexplained. It turns out that the reason for those pauses or freezes were spikes in the CPU temperature. Now what I'm about to present here is specific to the i9-13900K. You might want to try it for your other processors, but specifically on the i9-13900K is a processor capable of 100 Celsius in terms of temperature. And that temperature is the maximum temperature before your CPU starts throttling. And this is exactly what was happening and confirmed during my tests. So I started monitoring the SIM using MSI Afterburner and HW Info 64. This allows me to detect whether thermal throttling is occurring and also to monitor the core temperatures. Sure enough, during a random event, I would see that core thermal throttling was yes, and by checking the information in HW Info 64, was very clear the temperatures were hitting 100 Celsius. At that point, the CPU is going to throttle to protect your CPU. Now, this is perfectly fine as the 100 uh, Celsius is, uh, as per in Intel, uh, is a safe temperature, but once you hit that temperature, the CPU is gonna drop everything. It's gonna drop the clock, it's gonna drop the voltage, in order to protect your CPU from burning. After extensive research, I have arrived at the conclusion that by default, the i9-1 through 9K is given a very high core voltage uh, by default, and that reducing the voltage is going to reduce the temperatures and allow your CPU to run still at the same clock speed of 5.5 gigahertz, but without the spikes to 100 Celsius. I have initially experimented with an offset uh, core voltage value of 0.075, and this has fixed all the temperature spikes for Microsoft Flight Sim, but not for X-Plane 12. And so I've changed the value to 0.080, and I have now no issues whatsoever with the temperature spikes. The Sim is running pretty smooth. I'm getting very fine FPS and I'm not getting those freezes and pauses. So how do you devolt your CPU core voltage? Well, to do this, the first thing you need to do is to restart your computer and enter the BIOS. In order to enter the BIOS, you need to, after restarting your PC, keep hitting the delete key or F2, depending on your motherboard. This will allow you to enter the BIOS to make the necessary changes. Let's take a look. Once you are in the BIOS, click on Advanced Mode. Then we're gonna select the AI Tweaker. From the AI Tweaker, we are going to scroll down until we arrive at the VRM Core Voltage. We're gonna change this from Auto to Offset Mode. Then. We're going to change the CPU core voltage offset to 0.080. You can use 0.075 if you only fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Next, click on Exit and save your settings. Here is a snapshot of HW Info 64 post my sessions in Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane 12 
indicating very safe temperatures uh, throughout the sessions. As you can see, we have had no thermal throttling whatsoever uh, throughout both sessions. Well, folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I hope that you have found it useful and insightful. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.